so hello everyone and welcome to codeflix so today we will see something about query strings and we will see how to apply them so guys you might be thinking what query string is so here is an example let's say this is the link of the localhost and then there will be some port number and then there is a slash and then you can see here the contact so this is the name of the view and then after this question mark so after this question mark we give one parameter it is called name and we give it a value let's say tom so this is the query string this whole is known as a query string and whatever is after the question mark is the parameter let's see another example so here is the local host this is the link and then after the contact page here is after question mark here are two parameters first is name that is tom we are given the value and here is an and sign so another another parameter is embedded with the and and then there is the dept which is for department and we give it marketing so you can embed n number of parameters using this query string so this is query string so this is our app.js file and so if we want to get the query strings then it is very easy so here is the contact get method and then here we will first give a console dot log and then to get the query string we will use the request method so we will use request dot q u e r y that is query and give a semicolon at the end so this is how we can get the queries in the express so if we run our app which i have already started running and if we go to the contact page let's say we go to the contact page and then we give a query string let's say of name and then we give it a value tom and press enter so here is the contact page but you cannot see here anything but if you open the console so here is the parameter the name and the value of that parameter tom so we could capture the query which the user can input in the query bar so here is how you can do that and this we will be using in our app so if i go to the contact page here i have made a small form which i have commented so i'll remove the comments so here is a contact form of name department and email so we will populate this form whenever user gets into the contact page automatically when the user opens the contact page so for that we'll open our app.js file we'll remove this for now and here i'll give a bracket and write qs and then i'll write request dot query so i've made a qs object for query string and this will be passed to the next page that is the contact page so we can use it so now i'll open the contact.ejs file and in that remember we used the template engines we will implement that here by opening then percentage and then equal to and then qs dot name so i have a name field so input is also name and the query string will also have a name i'll close this percentage and opening bracket i'll copy this whole and paste it here so i paste it here and change this to department that is dept for department so now if i open the contact page so i'll open the contact page and so you can see the form is here with name department email and a submit button so if i just press submit so as you can see here empty values are getting submitted so with name there is no value with department there is no value and with email there is no value and in submit the value is submit because we pressed that so this is the query string after the question mark here is the query string so for now if i remove this and give a value tom and a dept value for let's say marketing and press enter so as you can see the fields are auto populated so whenever a user will open this page so the fields will get auto populated so if i change it here so let's say i type this and then i go to contact and then i let's say with question mark 
I say name that is Jerry and let's say we give a DPT that is IT. And press enter. So as you can see the form field is populated with Jerry and the department is IT. So this is how you can use query strings in your app.